so we're now in the land of the roses over here. Um, so these are all in the Rosaceae family, and the, we're talking about Rubus uh, as the genus. And you have a couple Rubuses you need to know. You need to know Discolor, you need to know Ursinus, and you need to know Spectabilis, and you need to stay afoot. Um, so this is Rubus Discolor. This is Himalayan Blackberry. So the one with five leaflets in a palmate. Thank you. In a palmate arrangement, so palm like your hand, palmate arrangement that's the one that's not from here which is himalayan okay and the way the other thing you're going to know and the reason it's discolored is it's dark green on the front and light green on the back okay so these are the blackberries they give us a lot of the sweet sweet fruit but medicinally what we use it for is actually the root so all the rubuses use the roots okay um i can think of one exception to that but you don't have to know it which is uh raspberry raspberry leaf for pregnancy everyone that's a pretty common thing people have heard of Raspberry leaf for right before you give birth and right after. That's you, you're using the leaf, and that is Rubus idea. So it is a Rubus that you use the leaf. The leaves are astringent, so that's the key thing you're thinking of when you think Rosaceae family. Primary constituents are going to be tannins and and the like, but astringency is like a big hallmark card of the Rosaceae family. Okay, so this is not a perfect example, but you can see the five, right? Palmate five. Just as a reminder, here's my beautiful. Um, okay, and so we use the roots of these two. So this is Rubus Discolor, and we dig it up and we use the roots. They're very astringent, um, and they're good for gut gut irritations where you need gut astringency. So diarrhea, dysentery, um, any sort of gut irritation issue that, um, but I wouldn't recommend taking it on an empty stomach because astringents can be a little too rough when your stomach's empty, especially the rose ones. So you're talking about using the root right now? Using the root, okay, root, root with... With what you need to know in the immediate future, think rubus root, okay? Because there is there is a leaf exception, but rubus roots, that's what you're, how you're going to use it medicinally. Unless you're using the berries medicinally, because they're, they're chock full of flavonoids and they're really good for you, like blueberries. What was the little one called again? The little one is ursinus. Ursinus. Where'd my ursinus leaf go? Passed it on. Oh, you hurtful people. So let's move on, move gears to, this is Rubus Ursinus. This is the local one, okay? And it's got these little three bees. So it's these little three pronged angels. Still serrated, kind of like your, um, your Urtica leaf, but they're together and they're in threes. And that's super cute. And they have little spikes. They're not as spiky as this one. And they stay low to the ground. You won't have that on the test. So you're gonna have five versus three with thorns. It must be a rose. Which one? Discolor five. Ursinus 3. Okay, that's like a real quick, I have a test and I need to know what to do. Um, again, we still use the roots the same way, and this is the local blackberry, it's the one that's been here forever. Um, and this is the one from Himalaya, I think I said that. Uh, I read a really cool thing uh, just this week about how Rubus discolor is really like, has like these really sharp fangs, it's really intense, and it says like, like descends, and it is a bioremediator, so it's good for the earth. Okay, because it helps fix disturbed soil, which is why it grows so crazily. But uh, they said like how it's like a lot, it has like lion's teeth and lion's claws and it's like a very protective medicine. And I thought that that was a really nice piece because I usually honestly don't use a lot of this in my own personal practice. This is more like if I was out camping and I got diarrhea and I was really starting to get worried, I might dig up some rubus roots and boil them and drink it. Because there's a lot of other astringents that I'm just more familiar with using. And even though it makes sense ecologically to use what's around you, I'm just very used to using things like oak and roses and stuff. But um, I just read this thing about how it's a very protective medicine energetically, and it's all about like reclaiming your own land and your own self internally. And I just thought that was a really nice note because it is a very voracious plant, but it gives you sweet fruit at the end. So I thought that was just important for the energetic pro like properties is to look at this plant. It's like, it's so tough. And it's like, well, maybe it is more medicinal than I give it credit for. You know what I mean? Maybe I should start practicing with it. Questions on the two rubuses you need to know? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Where is blackberry? No, these are both blackberries. This is Himalayan blackberry, the faraway blackberry. And this is Rubus ursinus, which is the local blackberry, Pacific blackberry. Anyone who's from around here can give you a variety of synonyms. But they're both blackberries. And they both give delicious um, questions. Yeah. The Himalayan um, 
here. Yeah, so it moved, so it's invasive. People brought it here I and then it went crazy and it totally chokes out our native plants. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, Cause I mean, it'll, if you put these two next to each other, I love that they're on opposite sides. They're very, they're playing really nicely. If you put them together, the rubus, first, uh, the rubus discolor will kill out, choke out the other one. Cause it gets super tall and it's just, it's all about itself. Probably discolor because it grows much faster and gives a lot more root, but it could or uh, fruit, but it could also be a totally different root that I'm unaware of. But most likely, I think they're discolor because it just yields like a crazy, crazy plant. Have you ever seen in the summer, like when you drive down, like you're driving down the hill and you're going over that bridge, the whole sides are lined with blackberries, and like wait, you'll see, and no one eats them because they're roadside and they are bioremediators, so we don't know what's in those fruits. It'd be fun to test. But um, you'll see they're loaded with blackberries and no one touches them because, so you just get to see like fields of blackberry. Mm -hmm. I've eaten them and I'm still alive, but who knows? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I, I, I always want to because people get very nervous about bioremediating plants like dandelions. Like you should be careful where you get your dandelion roots from because they will chelate like pesticides and stuff because they, they know it's not supposed to be in the earth. So they're like, I'll take it. And so you gotta be careful where you eat your those. But I've never studied actually quantifying how much toxins get absorbed. It's on my list of things to do. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Further questions? Real quick. So five is which one? This color. Color has five letters. Ursinus. Oops. First name? <laughs> and is this local or far away? Local. Okay, good. And what do we use them both for? Yeah. Gut astringents, yeah. Um, I'm